Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good night, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Panayasi. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Elias, Victoria, Ana Maria. Good evening. Welcome to the class. It's nice to see you again tonight. So thanks for your punctuality. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks a lot. Now tell me, how was your day? How was your day today? Was it easy? Was it hard? How was your day? Hello, can you listen me? Can you listen? Let me know, please, if you can listen me. Listen, teacher. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, Claudia and Annette. <clears throat> so, do you remember about yesterday you... topic? Do you remember about yesterday topic? What was yesterday topic about? Do you remember? Yes. 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 Regular verbs. Oh, excellent. We study regular verbs in which tense? What was the things we studied yesterday? ¿Qué tiempo estuvimos viendo el día de ayer? Present, simple past, or future? Single past. Simple past. Okay, thank you very much. We're starting learning about the simple past. Simple past, very good. So yesterday we saw the regular birds. We studied them a little bit and we learned um, five rules. We studied yesterday five rules to add ED or to make the bird, the regular bird into simple past. So do you remember some of those rules? Se acuerdan de esas reglas? Como agregarle ED a los verbos y hacerlos en pasado? Okay, the first rule was um, almost all the verbs we are going to add ed, right? A la mayoría de verbos solo vamos a agregarle ed. Then the second ed. one, si los verbos terminan en una e, en la vocal e, solo vamos a agregar de. Una, una de. Una de. Excellent. Si los verbos, eh, let's see, terminan en consonante más y. Lo vamos a sustituir y le vamos a agregar IED. Ok, perfecto, muy bien. Y si los verbos terminan en vocal más Y. Excelente, solo agregamos ED, ¿verdad? Solo agregamos IED. Eh, let's see the other one. Eh, the last rule is eh, short birds, birds with one syllable. Verbos de una sílaba que terminan en la combinación consonante, vocal consonante. Tenemos que. ¿Qué teníamos que hacer a esos verbos? Y si sí, tenemos que duplicar las, la última consonante y agregar ed, right? El ed. Ok. Y también aprendimos la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Hay tres maneras diferentes de pronunciar. En pasado los verbos regulares. Do you remember those? ¿Se acuerdan de ellos? Let's see. Tenemos el sonido de T, el sonido de D al final de los verbos y también el sonido IT. Para pronunciar el final de los verbos regulares en pasado. Let's see an example. Okay, so do you have any question about that? No question? 
¿Quién ya vio la lista de verbos que les compartí en el grupo? ¿Ya la descargaron? ¿La revisaron? No, oh, no yet. Oh, no, no, teacher. Yet, ok, I'm going to check it on the weekend. Voy a revisarla en el fin de semana. Ok. Just ok. Too much. <laughs> ah, yeah. There are too many birds there. There are many birds. Son muchos los verbos many que hay birds. ahí. Hay yes. muchos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh, but you can start learning then. Puede comenzar a aprendérselos, ¿verdad? Eh, <laughs> tres cada día, cuatro cada día. De aquí a Navidad ya se puede toda la lista. ¿no? <laughs> ok, eso. Vayan practicando, los vayan aprendiendo, hacerlo poquito a poco. ¿verdad? Dos diarios, uno diario. So you are going to increase your vocabulary and your knowledge about this bird. You are going to discover if they are regular or irregular when you see them in a, what? In a text or in an uh, advertisement. Si lo ven por ahí en la tele, usted va a decir, ah, ese es irregular, ese, no es, ese es irregular. La forma del pasado de ese verbo es así. ¿no? Eh, entonces usted lo va a reconocer. You are going to recognize them. So, poquito a poco, ¿no? vamos aprendiendo esos verbos. It is important to. Eh, question, do you have any question? About the platform, platform exercises, platform evaluation, no questions. ¿Quién ya terminó la plataforma? Nah, that's not true. ¿Quién ya va por la sección número 4, número 5? Finish. All right. Hoy es el examen final. Finish. Ok, congratulations for the ones who has already finished the platform exercises. Congratulations. Excellent job. So, you ya are waiting to see your diploma, right? So, lo están esperando para ver el diploma en la plataforma. Very good job. So, you did an excellent job. Y los demás, no se preocupen, la otra semana los alcanzamos, ¿verdad? So, today is our class number 10. Y welcome. And tonight, we're going to learn irregular verbs. Simple past using irregular verbs. So, let's start with this tonight. Here we go. I am sharing my screen with you. Can you please let me know if you can see it? See it. Okay, yes. thanks a lot. Thank you very much. So let me hide this and put this on here. <clears throat> here we go. Simple task, irregular birds. So this is your skeletal stand, as I said before. Welcome, everybody is welcome to this class. And we are going to learn a simple pass with irregular verbs. Ayer aprendimos la diferencia, ¿verdad? Entre los verbos regulares, regular verbs versus irregular verbs. So the difference is the way in which those verbs make the simple past tense. Regular verbs follow some rules, right? And we study five, five rules to make the simple pass with irregular verbs. Now, irregular birds, look at this information. Unfortunately, there isn't any rule to form the simple pass of irregular birds. You have to learn them from a list. Eh, desafortunadamente, no hay ninguna regla. Eh, la única manera de aprendernos el pasado de los verbos irregulares es de una lista, from a list. And take a look at the following birds. Let's see this bird. Ya conocen estos verbos. Do, get up, go, meet, come, and have. Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. So look at this, the past form of this bird. The simple past. Do. Do. Okay, just a second. Okay, let's continue. Uh, here we go. So do, the simple past form of do is did, get up, got up, go, when, meet, met, come, came, have, had. So as you can see, there isn't a rule, right? They don't follow any rule. 
Mm, yes, every bear has the simple past tense form. And I have here some examples. I did yoga yesterday. You got up early. He went to the shopping mall. She met her classmate. We came home early. They had a birthday party. So this is the past form of this bird. Any volunteer to practice this sentence, please? Who wants to practice those sentences? Me, teacher. Thank you, Catherine. I did yoga yesterday. You got up early. He went to the shopping mall. She met her classmate. We came home early. They had a birthday party. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Very good job. That was excellent. Thank you, Catherine. So in past, I did yoga yesterday. What is the meaning of this sentence? I did yoga yesterday. What is the meaning of that sentence? Yo hice yoga ayer. Yes, that is in past. Yo hice, right? Yo hice. Eh, ¿Cuál es la oración que significa nosotros llegamos temprano a casa? What is the we, sentence? We came home early. Okay, excellent. We came. We came home early. What is, what is the sentence that means? Tú te levantaste temprano. You got up early. Okay, excellent. You got up early. In the sentence, él fue al centro comercial. He went to the shopping mall. Ah, excellent. Very good. He went to the shopping mall. And the last one, um, there are two... There are two other sentences. The next one, ella conoció a sus compañeros de clase. She met her classmate. Excellent. She met her classmate. And the last one, ellos tuvieron una fiesta de cumpleaños. They had, they had a birthday party. party. Excellent. They have a birthday party. Y no nos invitaron. Qué mala onda. They have a birthday party. So then, as you can see, every single bird has uh, its form to make it in past. Cada uno tiene su forma para hacerlo en pasado. Let's see how to make sentences. We are going to follow this structure to make sentences. It is the same. Right? It is the same with regular birds. We need a subject, a very simple past tense, plus a complement. Subject, a bird in simple past tense, plus the complement. Uh, read the following examples. Any volunteer to read the following examples? Who say me? Who wants to practice tonight? Any volunteer? Me, Eli. Thank you, Elias. Thank you very much, Elias. I did my homework. You go up at noon. He went to the museum. We met our mm -hmm. new teacher. They come home late. You had a picnic. Thank you very much, Elias. Very good job. So the first one is, I did my homework. I is the subject. Did is the verb in simple past tense. My homework is the complement. And I have a sentence. I did my homework. The next one, you got up at noon. You got up at noon. And you is the subject, got up, the verb in simple past. And at noon is the complement. In the next one, what is the subject in the sentence? He went to the museum. He went to the museum. What is the subject in the sentence? Can you tell me, please? 
He no. is subject. He. He is the subject. Yes. And what is the complement? What is the complement in that sentence? The museum. To the museum. <clears throat> okay. Museum. To the museum. Very good. And the verb in simple past tense. When. 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 Okay. Very good. So in the next example, we meet. We met our new teacher. What is the meaning of this sentence? We met our new teacher. Nosotros conocimos el nuevo maestro. A nuestro nuevo maestro. Nuestro nuevo maestro. Ok, excelente. Nosotros conocimos a nuestro nuevo maestro. And we is the subject, met is the verb in simple past, and our new teacher is the complement. And then we have the other two sentences, they came home late, and you had a picnic. They came home late, ellos llegaron a casa tarde, you had a picnic, tú o ustedes tuvieron un picnic. What is a picnic? What is a picnic? Do you know what is a picnic? Día de campo. Día de campo. Paseo yeah. en el campo. Ok, that is a picnic, right? Um, llevar comida, ¿verdad? Y almorzar en el campo. Tener una comida en el campo. That is a picnic. You have a picnic. Very good. So let's go with the next. Those are affirmative sentences. Questions? Do you have any questions in this part? No question. No, no question. No question. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you, Elias. No question. Then let's practice. Do you know the correct past form of the following birds? I have this bird. Eat, sing, Eight. take, find, see, make, sit, and write. What is the simple past form of this bird? Can you help me with that, please? Eat. What's the simple pass of it? Eight. 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 Thank eight. you. Eight. Eight is the right form and pass of it. Sing. Song. Song. Okay. Sing. Sang. Sang. A song is canción. It's a noun. Sang. Take. Sang. Take, took. Took. took, okay, excellent, took, find, found, 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 found is the simple past, found. see, so. so, okay, so, make, made, made, sit, sit, okay, and write, Wrote. Right. Right. Let's see if you would write. Here are the simple past form. It, aid, sing, sun, take, took, find, found, see, so, make, made, sit, sat, write, wrote. Okay. Los dijeron correctamente? I have you did. No, yes. Se en el <clears throat> ah, okay. Eh, look at this. Este es el, el que probablemente más hayamos visto. ¿verdad? May. May in China. May in China. May in the US. So, en la mayoría de productos trae mm -hmm. este verbo. ¿verdad? May. Hecho en. May in Japan. May in El Salvador. And so on. So, let's take a look at some examples. Who wants to read the two first examples? Los primeros dos ejemplos. Yo, teacher. Thank you, Elizabeth. Sara. Oh, Sara, okay. You can start. Eh, Serían todas las oraciones. Las primeras tres, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, okay. I... Ate a cake. We sang 
too much last night. I took a drink yesterday. Okay, excellent, I, thank you. I ate a cake with some too much last night and I took a drink yesterday. Thank you very much. Excellent job. Uh, the next three, please. Who wants to read the next three sentences? Las siguientes tres. Who wants to practice tonight? A volunteer. Anna. Thank you, Ana. Me, teacher. Thank you, Ana. Found your keys under the table. He saw the new movie yesterday. She made a cake. It was delicious. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the last two, the last two sentences. Any volunteer tonight? Me, teacher Mariluz. Thank you, Maria Luz. Okay. Um, I sat on the old chair and it broke. He wrote great a little to his wife. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. So it says, I found your keys under the table. ¿Dónde estaban las llaves? Yo encontré tus llaves. ¿Dónde? What is the meaning of the phrase under the table? Abajo. <clears throat> yes. Debajo. Under, debajo de la mesa. Yes. He saw the new movie. When? He saw the new movie. When? Yesterday. Mañana. Oh, yes, yesterday. Mañana. Is, is it mañana or ayer? Ayer. Ayer, ayer. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yes. So yesterday is ayer. He saw the new movie yesterday. El vio la nueva película ayer. And she made a cake. Ella hizo un cake. It okay, was okay. delicious. A cake. Estuvo delicioso. Yes, excellent. That is the meaning. It was delicious. Como los que cocinan ustedes. Very good. The next one. <laughs> I sat on the old chair. I sat on the old chair and it broke. Yo me senté en la silla vieja y esta. ¿Qué le pasó? What happened with it? Se quebró. Se rompió. And it broke. Ok, no es que haya estado gordo, es que la silla estaba vieja. I sat on the old chair and it broke. He wrote a letter to his wife. Él escribió una carta para escribió su esposa. Una carta a su esposa. Ok, he is so romantic, right? He is a romantic guy. He wrote a letter to his wife. Perfect. So do you have any question about these examples in the past form of this bird? No question? I think it's going to be no no the next slide. In this slide, we're going to learn how to make negative sentences. Oraciones negativas in simple past tense. Right? It's the same. We are going to use subject, didn't. Verb in present plus a complement. Uh, in this part, don't forget that in the auxiliary did is the past rate, right? is the past tense. So the verb must be in present. El verbo tiene que estar en presente. Subject, didn't, verb in the present plus complement. I didn't take many pictures. I didn't take many pictures. Yo no tomé muchas fotos. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. In this way, we make negative sentences. Subject, didn't, the verb in simple present, and many pictures. I'm oh, sorry, the verb in present, and the complement, many pictures. The tour guide is the subject, didn't, did plus not, speak, the verb in present, and Spanish is the complement. So what is the subject in the next? You didn't eat fruit. You? You? 
Ok, excellent. That is the subject. You is the subject. Thank you. Uh, the verb, what is the verb in present in this sentence? It. 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 Uh, okay, and then we have didn't and the complement. You didn't eat fruit. To no con Mr. Fruit. Any volunteer to practice reading these examples, please? I need a volunteer. Yeah, Anna. Okay. Anna Maria, you can start. Yes. I didn't take many pictures. The tour guy didn't speak Spanish. He didn't, didn't go finish. Fishing. 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 Yes. <laughs> you didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. And the last one? Uh, they didn't do their homework. I have another one. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Can you see it? We didn't buy a new smartphone. That is the last sentence. Ah, uh, no la veo. Ah, <laughs> we didn't buy a new smart, smart, smart. No, esa no la sé decir. Smartphone. Es, smartphone. Es smartphone. Yes, smartphone. So thank you very much. Okay, just a second. Okay, let's continue with this. So I didn't take many pictures. Yo no tomé muchas fotos. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. El guía de turista no hablaba. What is this language? Spanish. Español. 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 She didn't go fishing. Ella no fue a dónde? She didn't a pescar. go. Uh, Ella pepe. no fue a pescar o de pesca. Ella no fue de pesca. You didn't eat fruit. Ah, tú no, no comes no fruta. fruta. Okay. They didn't do their homework. Ellos, Ellos no hicieron no. su tarea. Okay, they didn't do their homework and we didn't buy a new smartphone. Okay, very good. Nosotros no compramos un nuevo smartphone o un teléfono inteligente. So in this way, we make negative statements. And de esta manera hacemos oraciones negativas in simple past. Now, how to make question. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer las preguntas? Yo quiero saber si usted hizo algo ayer, por ejemplo. Eh, did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? ¿Fue a trabajar ayer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ok, very good. Then you answer, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Another question. Did you cook? The dinner yesterday. Did you cook dinner dinner yesterday? Cocinó usted no, la I cena didn't. ayer. Oh, Glenda said yes, no, I, I did. didn't. Yeah, okay, yes, I did. Uh, let's see another one. Did you go shopping yesterday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. No están aprovechando la Black uh, Week. La Black Week en todos, no, los, en no, todos los centros comerciales. No have money. <ríe> ah, you don't have money. Yes, I did. Ok, bueno, lástima. Cuando sea 30 ya se han acabado las promociones. I'm so sorry for that. Eh, then let's see. Did you go shopping on the weekend? The last weekend, did you go shopping on the weekend? Fueron de compras la semana pasada. El fin de semana pasado. Sorry. You say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Did he go to the beach last vacation? Fue él a la playa en las vacaciones anteriores? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did she eat eggs and beans for the breakfast? Eh, ¿Comió ella huevos y frijoles para el desayuno? Como estamos hablando de ella, entonces la respuesta tiene que ser, yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did they write a letter? Escribieron ellos una carta? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. 
Then we are going to need this structure to make a question. We are going to need the auxiliary date, subject, the verb in present, a complement, and the question mark. Auxiliary date, subject, verb in present, and complement, and finally the question mark. Let's see, let's practice in the next slide. Look at this conversation is, did you like it? What is the meaning of this question? Did you like it? Did you like it? What is the meaning of that question in this conversation? Did you like it? Te gustó, algo así. Oh, le yes. Gustó, le gustó esto. Okay, te gustó. We can translate this like this. When te gustó. Did you like it? So let's read this. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. So look at the equation. Did you go anywhere last summer? Did you go anywhere last summer? ¿Fuiste a algún lugar el verano pasado? Yes, I did. ¿A dónde fue Erika? Where did Erika go? Arizona. Arizona. Okay, yeah. excellent. And she went to Arizona and she visited the Grand Canyon. El Gran Cañón. Uh, really? Then look at this other question. Did you like it? De verdad? Te gustó? Oh, yes, we loved it. Nos gustó mucho. ¿verdad? Oh, yes, nos gustó mucho. Look at the next question. Did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? ¿Tomaste una caminata ahí? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. En realidad, nosotros montamos caballos. And we also went, y también fuimos, white water rafting on the Colorado River. También practicamos, ¿verdad? Descenso en aguas uh, movidas o bravas en el río Colorado. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Then, parece que sí se divirtieron in Arizona, in the Grand Canyon, and practicing white water rafting. So, to volunteer to practice this conversation, if you don't have any question about the vocabulary here, a new word, is it a new yeah. word? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay. Uh, let's see, do you have any question about the vocabulary? Any difficult work, a new word in this conversation? No, with question. water is, with water is como aguas movidas o aguas turbulentas, algo así. Ah, así es, white water, white water, así es, es como aguas bravas, aguas turbulentas. Hiking. Hiking is tomar una caminata. Okay, thank you. Senderismo. Así es, dar un paseo caminando. Bueno, senderismo, that is hiking. Very good, thank you. Any other question? If you anywhere. Have... An anywhere. Oh, anywhere. Or anywhere. Eso significa... Eh, Cualquier lugar o cualquier sitio, donde quiera. So, did you go anywhere last summer? ¿Fuiste a algún lugar 
el verano pasado. So that's anywhere, algún lugar, en cualquier sitio, donde quiera. Robot, creo que robot horses. Rod horses. Este es el pasado del verbo ride. We rode horses, montar. Nosotros montamos caballos. We rode horses. Any other? Any other question? Then I need to volunteer. Rafting. Oh, rafting is descender. Descender así lo que están haciendo ahí. Es este deporte. Rafting. Um. Descender así en ríos. En estas pequeñas canoas utilizando remos. That is rafting. Any other question? No more questions. So I need two, two volunteers. Who wants to practice tonight? I need two volunteers. Help yeah. me. Help me. me Julian and Elias. Okay, let's listen. Julian and Elias, and después Catherine, and then Catherine. So, Elias, you are going to be Laura, and Julian, you are going to be Erica at this time. You can start, please. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't actually. We rode horses and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, excellent job. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julian and Elias. Now, any other volunteer to practice this small conversation? Me, teacher. Glenn, oh, Glenn. No. Oh. Okay, let's listen. Glenda and Anna, please. Anna, you can start. Okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona without the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went white weather rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent job. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job in this part. I think so. Thank you, guys. Let's go with this. Okay, question and answer. So simple, pass, yes, no question. Um, we studied before, uh, did, uh, subject, the verb in present, complement, and the question mark. So that is the structure we're going to follow up to make a question. Look at these examples. Do you have, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I have a great summer. Tuviste un buen verano? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Sí, yo tuve un verano. Verano grandioso o un gran verano. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I play tennis. No, jugaste voleibol? No, yo jugué tennis. Did Erika like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. ¿Le gustaron sus vacaciones a Erika? Yes, le gustaron muchísimo. Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. <clears throat> so look at this. Did you? Did you have a good summer? So we answer, yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. Did Erika like her vacation? 
It's here, right? Erika, we are talking about her, her vacation. So we say, yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? Aquí sería ellas. Erika y su hermana, ellas. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. So we made the equation in this way and we answered with this short answer. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. No, they didn't. I need to volunteer in this part. Who wants to participate? I need to volunteers to ask and answer question. Your name, please. Thank you, Elena. Elena and? Catherine. Elena and Catherine. Okay, Catherine, can you please ask the question? And Elena, can you please read the answers? You can start, please. Okay. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had great a summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. Play at tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. did it. She liked uh, it a lot. It a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, no, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Thank you very much. Vacation in this part. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Thank you very much. Very, very good job. Thank you, Elena and Katrin. Any two volunteers to practice in this part? <clears throat> hello, hello. Uh, help me, please. Anna. Volunteers. Anna and. Any other volunteer? Yeah. Okay, yeah. then let's listen. Anna Maria and Julian, and después Anna Yancy. So, Julian, can you please start? Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. <laughs> I played tennis. Tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, thank you. Perfect job. Thank you, Julian and Ana Maria. So I need another volunteer. I have Ana Yancy and Sara. Thank you. Ana Yancy and Sara, please. Can you please start, did Ana you Yancy? Have, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. No, I didn't. I played tennis. Yes, she liked it, liked it a lot. Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, thank you, Sarah and Ana Yancy. Very good job. Thanks a lot. It was almost perfect. And let's continue. Let's go with the next. This is an exercise. You have to read the sentences. Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes. Tengo una pregunta. Yes. Um, how do you pronounce play in past? Played. I played tennis okay. with this sound. Played. played. No, I didn't. Played. I played it, it tennis. Like? Light is with T sound. Light. She liked. She yeah. liked a lot. It a lot. Okay. okay. Thank you. Any other question in this part? 
you. No question. Let's go. Let's go with the next exercise. Let's practice. You have to choose the right way of the bird. You have to choose the correct bird to complete these sentences. Tom, a new house last month. So by is the bird in present. In past, what is the correct bird? By, oh, about, no. or has oh. bought. About. Okay, but this one, but, but, say but, but, Tom bought a new house last month. Yes, you are right. That is the right form of the verb by in simple past. Let's go with the next one. She not understand the question yesterday. Is it understood not? Has it understood or didn't understand? Didn't understand. Didn't understand. Okay, very good. So she didn't understand. She didn't understand the question yesterday. And then the letter C, Fred, a lot of picture of his holiday last summer. Is it took, take, took. or has taken? Took. 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 <laughs> Took, right? Took is the right of the word in simple past tense. So Fred took a lot of pictures on his holiday last summer. Let's see the next. Letter D. ¿Qué recibiste para tu Okay, thank you. What did you get? What did you get for your birthday? ¿Qué recibiste para tu cumpleaños? What did you get for your birthday? Let's see letter E. Where? Where did you go? Okay, excellent. Where did Where you go last weekend? Where did you go last weekend? Where did you go last weekend? Letter F. I went... Is is one wanted or have wanted? Wanted. Wanted. Okay, excellent. I wanted to buy that computer, but it was too expensive. Yo quería comprar esa computadora, pero ¿qué pasó? Está muy caro. Está bastante. Okay, it was too expensive, pero estaba muy cara, demasiado cara. Very good. So I can see that you don't have any problem. Let's go with the next. Look at this conversation. Um, hi, Alice. What did you do last weekend? Look at this question. What did you do last weekend? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought some new clothes. I also play tennis. Who did you play with? I play with Tom. Did you win? Of course I won. What did you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate at the good fork. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wine. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. I didn't eat in a restaurant and I didn't play tennis. What did you do? I stayed home and studied for my test. Poor you. So what is this conversation about? What is this conversation about? Que hizo la, la semana, el fin de semana pasado. Okay, excellent. What mm -hmm. Alice, what Alice did the last weekend, right? Que hizo Alice el fin de semana pasado? What? And the conversation is, what did you do last weekend? What did Alice do last weekend? So it's say, I went shopping. 
what I, I bought some new clothes. I also play the tennis. Se fue de compras, compró ropa. Y jugó tenis. Y who did you play with? ¿Con quién jugó tenis? She played with. Tom. 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 Did she win? Did she win? Did Alice win? Ganó. And then you say, yes. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And what did you do after your tennis match? Le pregunta Robert, what did you do after your tennis match? ¿Qué hizo después del partido de tenis? Well, I went home and took a shower. ¿Y para dónde se fue? Para la casa, para tomar un baño. Okay, excellent. I went home and took a shower and then went out. What is the meaning of went out? Salió afuera. Okay, salió, ¿verdad? Salió a pasear, salió. Did you eat in a restaurant? Look at this question. Did you eat in a restaurant? Comió un restaurante. Yes. Okay, yes, my friend Jackie and I ate up the good fork. This is the name of the restaurant. So my friend Jackie and I ate at the Good Fork. Did you enjoy your dinner? Another question in past. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes. La cena. Okay, very good. So yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wine. So aparte de que disfrutaron la cena, ellas, we also... Tomaron un delicioso vino. Ok, un vino maravilloso. A wonderful wine. And Robert said, unfortunately, desafortunadamente, I didn't go out this weekend. I didn't eat in a restaurant. And I didn't play tennis. Entonces, Alice pregunta, what did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? I stay home and study for my test. ¿Dónde estuvo Robert? En su casa para, estudiando para, para un examen. examen. Y le dice Alice, poor you, poor you. Ok, can you please Pobrecita. look at it? <laughs> Pobrecita. Ok, so very good. So, let's see, can you tell me an example of regular birds in this conversation? Regular birds, can you... Can you see one regular bird in tell when? me? When? When? Is it regular when? or irregular? Irregular. Irregular bird. Okay. When is irregular? Yes. Any other one? Any no. other? Yeah. Oh, but. Hey. Yes. Hey. But. Uh, but. but. Uh, irregular. It's irregular Play. too. Okay. Plate. Uh, no. Plate is a regular bear. Yes. What about one? Regular or irregular? Irregular. irregular. Yes. Irregular. What about, let's see, took? Irregular. Irregular. What about irregular. Eight? eight? Irregular bear. Irregular. 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 Enjoyed. Irregular. Enjoyed. Irregular. Regular, 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 regular. And let's see the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Stayed, yeah. stayed. Regular, per. regular, regular. Per. studied, studied. Regular, 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 me teacher. Glenda and Elena, please. You can start, Elena, please. Elena, you are Robert. At this time, you're going to be Robert. And Glenda, you're going to be Alice. You can start, Elena, please. Okay. Hi, Alice. What did you do last weekend? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did, what did you buy? I bought some new clothes. 
I also played tennis. How did you play white? I played with Tom. Did you win? Of course, I won. No more. What did you after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower. Um, and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate on the good fork. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wine. Unfortunately, in the good the weekend, in didn't eat in restaurant and I didn't play tennis. What did you do? I stay home and study for my test. For you. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Just in this word, how do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this word? With. 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 Okay. How do you pronounce Sorry. this one? How do you pronounce this? New cloth. New clothes. Okay, it's a name. How do you pronounce this? Teacher of the good fork. Excuse me. Metal. Uh, can you please repeat? Can you please repeat? <laughs> Which word? And Robert, unfortunately. Ah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately, I didn't Thanks. go out this weekend. Any other question? No more questions? No, no teacher. No teacher. Okay, excellent. Then let's see the last. Look at this bird. He shared the answer for the following question with your classmate. Mm -hmm. What did you do last weekend? Let's see the first question. Did you go to the movie theater last weekend? What's the answer for this question? Did you go to the movie? Did you clean the home last weekend? Okay, very good. That is a good example. So I'm going to choose someone. Julian, did you go to the movies? Oh, did you go to the movie theater last weekend? Yes, I need to be there. Which one? Which one? Ah, es una pregunta en pasado. Did you go to the movie theater? Fuiste al cine. Fuiste al cine. And what was the answer? No, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. Very good. So let's see, Elena, did you go to the movie theater? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I good. did. Hey, Ana Maria, did you go to the movie theater? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, let's see the next one. Did you clean your house, Glenda? Did you clean your house? Yes, I did. <laughs> Maria Luz, did you clean your house? Yes, I did. Hey, Yvonne, did you wash your car? Did you wash your card? Elias, did you wash your card? Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. Uh, Claudia, did you study last weekend? Yes, teacher, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. Let's see, uh, Elizabeth Aguilar, did you sing last weekend? No, I didn't. Cynthia, did you sing last weekend? No, they not. Oh, you say, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Uh, let's see, Ana Yancy, did you dance last weekend? Mm, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Yes, I did. 
Okay, yes, I did. Very good. Let's see, Brenda, did you eat chicken last weekend? Yes, I did. Elias, did you eat meat last weekend? Yes, I did. The next one, did you get up early on Sunday, Maria Luz? Did you get up early on Sunday? No, I did. No, you didn't. Claudia, did you get up early last weekend? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Very good. Let's see the next. Uh, Ana Maria, did you visit your relatives? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. And let's see, Catherine, did you buy groceries last weekend? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay, excellent. So in this way, we make question and answer. Uh, do you have any question about this topic? No question. Question, no question. question. Do you have a question? No question. Okay, now can you tell me some activities that you did last weekend? What did you do last weekend? And say the sentence, what did you do last weekend? And you say, I danced, I ate, I ran, I bowed. I get up. Oh, I get okay. up late. I got up late. Very good. I got up late. Thank you. What did you do last weekend? Tell me another example. I had one. I got up late. Me levanté tarde. Very good. Yo toda la vida. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Qué suerte I tiene. Ah, okay. Excellent. I cook. I, I, I cook. cook. Yesterday. I cook. Yesterday. No. Yesterday. Or last okay. weekend? Last weekend. I cook last weekend. Any other? Any other? I was, I went church. Okay, excellent. I went to the... I went to the church. I went to the church. Which other activity did you do? I went to the TV. I watch, I watch TV, and the other one? I watch soccer, I, I, I watch soccer film. I watch a soccer, a soccer match, or oh, I went to a soccer field. Julian, can you please repeat your sentence? Mm -hmm. Ay. Eh, como que si voy a la cancha a ver el partido de fútbol. Ok, I went to the soccer field to watch a soccer I like match. to sleep a lot. Eh, sería I slept. I slept a lot. Dormí muchísimo. I slept a lot. No, que me gusta dormir mucho. <laughs> ah, then yes, I like sleeping a lot. A lot. I like sleeping a lot. <laughs> okay. I didn't drink. Okay. I didn't drink. Okay, I didn't drink. I didn't drink wine. Okay, I didn't drink wine. Ah, ya, ya está guardando energía para el 24. I didn't drink wine. <risa> Mejor practique. <risa> Mejor practique, dice. Ok. Any other sentence? Any, what did you do last weekend? I wash. I buy new clothes. Ok. I wash my clothes. Ok. Miren, mientras una la mamá su ropa. Alguien más, I bought, I bought new clothes. Alguien más compraba ropa nueva. I washed my clothes, I bought new clothes. I bought new clothes. The last one, any other? 
I go, I go, give my friends. I gave, give to my friends. Friends? Yes. Okay, I gave, give to my friends. Okay. I sing, listen, music. Ah, okay, I listen to music. Very good sentence. I listened, I listened to music. Okay, thank you very much. Any other, any other sentence? No more sentences? No more sentences. No more sentences. Yo tengo una teacher, ya tenemos sueño. Like this one? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's a little bit late. So, uh, thank you very much. Thank you for your punctuality, for your participation, and also for your attention. Uh, today is a Thursday. Tomorrow we don't have classes, right? I'm going to see you until next uh, Monday. So enjoy your weekend, please. But don't forget about the platform exercises and evaluation. Don't forget to work on that, please, during the weekend. Tomorrow, we don't have classes, so you can take advantage of that. And during the hour, from 8 to 9, you can work on the platform. So if you don't have any other question or any other comment, see you next Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Rest a lot. Enjoy with your family. Bye-bye. See you, teach. Bye. See you, Monday, teacher. Bye bye. See you on Monday. Take care. Feliz fin de semana. Thank you very much.